So you were stripping before you got into porn. Mm. Uh, what made you want to start dancing? Um, oh, wow. I don't know. I mean, since like middle school, I had been like joking, but not really about, oh, I want to be a stripper. Let's, yeah, I go to the club. And then I turned 18, took me like, I was going to do it on my 18th birthday. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> I got nervous. And then two days after I finally did it. And what was your first experience like? It was so awesome. Really? Yeah. I mean, it was, I loved the people in the club. I loved my club to be exact. Um, And I felt welcomed there. The the girls were nice. It was Mm -hmm. great. It's so interesting how people have like very different experiences depending Mm -hmm. on where they go. Yeah. 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 And so you went on stage and did you feel like, like, did you make good money that night? Um, I think I made, it was probably like only $500 still a lot though for my, yeah. That's a lot Mm -hmm. for a few hours of work in one day. I mean, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. After working at IHOP and being a janitor, like, yes. You were a janitor? (laughs) Yeah. Really? At a mall. (laughs) At a mall? (laughs) Yeah. It was so bad. (laughs) Oh man. I was, I joined because my friend was working there and he's a Capricorn like me, like, but very... I don't even know. Just no one you've ever met before. Just crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, so we worked together, then he got fired. So I was just like, whatever, I'm, I'll, I'll quit too. <laughs> so you, you, once he left, you were like, I'm not doing this janitor mm-hmm. job anymore. Yeah, but it helped that my other two friends worked at the mall too. So we would just be fucking around. <laughs> Have you done like a janitor themed shoot? No. I feel like you should. I should. You should be like a hot janitor, oh like mopping the floor as like your tits hanging out. Oh, God, I should. I feel like that would be really good. I think you should tell browsers that and I should shoot it. Yes, I'm so <laughs> down. Okay, I will. I will. Because that's a very unusual. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I've ever met anybody who was a janitor or at least who is a model who is a janitor. I know. It's such a weird job. Like It is kind of random. Yeah. Ooh, man, it's the first time I smelled ammonia. Nasty as fuck. Yeah, pretty <laughs> bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how did you transition into shooting porn? Um, how did I transition? COVID. Mm. Yeah, that was the the main reason of going into porn was started with money. Yeah. Because, you know, of course, like I lived alone with my or I lived with my cousin. And yeah, so um, and then, yeah, I just ended up loving it. And so I'm assuming that you were dancing. Was mm-hmm. that like your full-time gig? You were a dancer? Yeah. And then COVID happened and obviously the clubs closed down. Mm-hmm. So what was your next step then? Um, well, the person who was scouting me, he told me to get an OnlyFans, but, you know, only during COVID too. And I had no, not as much followers for sure. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I... So then, wait, so did you get scouted? It was your current agent who scouted you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so somebody else. Yeah. And he was like, you should do porn. Mm-hmm. Did he see you at the club? No, he saw me on Twitter. I, I must have posted something like, I want to fuck or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was some horny mm-hmm. shit. And then I guess he found me that way. It was kind of weird. And then what was your reaction? Um, it was, I was, I wanted to do it at first. Um, but I was 17. Mm. So a little early to start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I told him my age and he was like, okay, wait till you're 18. And then I started stripping mm-hmm. and then. It, oh, so he reached out to you before you mm-hmm. even started dancing. Okay. Yeah. So like, I just, I was like, I want to try stripping first and then see where it goes. And then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then you did the stripping and you were good with that. Mm-hmm. And then that shut down. And then did you reach back out to the agent now that you like had no work? You're like, okay. Yeah. So what was, like, what were your next steps? Um, well, since it was, like, March, I'm pretty sure, um, all the only shoots I could do were, like, I did FTV. That was my first shoot. And okay. then, like, I didn't really get to work until maybe, like, closer to September. Mm-hmm. And then I shot with Dick Drainers. And then I started doing the porn pros, like, starting in Vegas, mm-hmm. two-week thing. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who don't know, FTV Girls is a like amateur girls website that is really, really good at getting girls like very first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're Mm -hmm. there and they do good stuff and they shoot like public nudity or at least Mm -hmm. they make it look like public nudity. Oh, they definitely did public nudity. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Which to me, like, I'm so terrified of like getting caught, like (laughs) shooting, like, like I won't do anything that I feel is like remotely sketchy (laughs) or like not like on a private property. Not even car sex. Well, I mean, me engaging in it myself, but me shooting it because as the producer, you're liable for everything. Yeah. I feel like fucking getting like my shit impounded and, Mm. and everything. Oh, for sure. Yeah. All that. Expensive ass equipment. Yeah, mm. yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not fucking around. Yeah. Um. So so. Anyways, that's what FTV Girls is, and it's it was solo, right? Um. Yes. Yeah. And then, so what was the public nudity like? Like, what do you have you do exactly? Um. It was. I mean, we we just like where do we go? We went to he he brought his like McLaren. He had he had some really expensive car. We were driving it to some mini mall and like a park we went to a fountain um just everywhere outside and you know it's in arizona so like in the middle of summer almost seemed like yeah it was hot as fuck yeah Mm -hmm. but i mean since it was during lockdown there probably wasn't really a lot of yeah it wasn't it wasn't a lot of people it really wasn't but um it it was definitely in a public place that's for sure were you scared of getting caught um, not really. I kind of like it. Mm. I like the public nudity thing. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And then they also want you to do a masturbation video and orgasm for yeah. real, right? Mm-hmm. That's their whole thing. Were you able to do that? Um, yes. Yeah. Cause I like it. I don't know. Like. Do they give you toys? Yeah, yeah, and he gave me this that um, you know the back massage. Oh yes, the um, the Hitachi. Uh huh. Or yeah. yeah, but like harder. Really? Yeah, not the like Theragun. Like the I mean, one that goes bigger, like, but like it's a small one. Yeah, it like hard. He <laughs> wanted me to do that. Yes. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Dude, I use that on my legs every night, and like, I'm always like, if I ever put this on my vagina, it would like bang like Taurus into, like inside of me. This mm. like that. I feel like that's like doesn't feel good. I know. I mean, it it like I put it on a really low level because, yeah, it did kind of hurt. But I don't know. I was brand new, like, and I had not really found my voice yeah. yet. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So you you kind of look back on that and you're like, mm, there's some things I would have maybe. Oh, for sure. Lo- changed. Honestly, a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. With that shoot in general, or just overall? That shoot in general. Okay. What do you think that you would have changed? Um, the makeup, the hair. Um, I like. I just feel like he didn't really give me any real detail on mm-hmm. like what I needed, mm-hmm. um, besides like clothes and stuff. And I don't know. He wasn't really telling me what was going on. Like we went to the grocery store and bought like all these foods to, mm-hmm. <laughs> to um, fuck myself with, and I didn't know that corn isn't supposed to go in your pussy. (laughs) And mind you, this fucking corn photo is the photo that everyone found out in porn. And it's (laughs) me like fucking corned up. (laughs) What? I mean, I feel like that, that feel, no. I mean, because like the ends are not comfortable. Yeah. I mean, I, I had him cut the, Okay. The pointy part. Uh huh. But did like was it wait was it cooked or was it raw? Uh, raw. Okay. So yeah. the kernels are less likely to come off inside. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That would have been terrible. Yeah. I'm just like thinking oh of all of the ways that this could have gone like terribly wrong. <laughs> oh what? Oh, I'm glad he didn't cook it. That would have been. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's you know I don't. Know what that's about? I mean, there's. I'm sure there's a food fetish thing that people are into, and it is like kind of a little bit ridiculous. Mm. And there's a bit of a shock value there, so maybe that's because you said that that yeah. porn photo was what how everyone found out you did porn, probably mm. because that circulated. Because it's like, why is this girl <laughs> sitting in a corn of her fucking vagina? <laughs> I mean, that would be my question. Oh God, I know, literally, yeah. 
Fucking crazy. So what happened? Okay, so tell me about like when, like who did you hear from that first found out you did porn? Like how did that all go down? Oh my God. Oh shit. I mean, it was definitely someone from my high school. And um, I was like kind of the school slut. Mm -hmm. So they didn't really like me. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, they were just clowning my shit. But (laughs) I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Still getting money though. <laughs> Y'all are broke asking for your parents' money. It's fine. <laughs> I would say, like, you know, sexually liberated female. Mm-hmm. And now you're using your talents for exactly. you know a successful career. So Hell like yeah. it worked. It sounds like it worked out great for you. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, I'm happy and that's all that matters. Yeah. 